folks! Happy New Year! Welcome back to Ivy! I've segmented this video up into a few sections. To-do list, note-taking, calendar or planning apps, time management, and file sharing. For each of these applications, I have made a sort of pros and cons list. Choosing the right app comes down to you evaluating yourself and how you plan and organize your life. You need to find an app that is compatible for you and will make you more effective and productive in the IB. Now that's out of the way, let's get started with the video. Wonder List or Microsoft To Do is a list making app that my friend used in IB and really, really enjoyed. Wonder List itself is going away on the 6th of May this year but it is being continued by Microsoft To Do. When I'm referring to the app, I'll be referring to Microsoft To Do or To Do, which encompasses the features of both apps and will be merging together to become Microsoft To Do very soon. For the pros of Microsoft To Do, it makes a nice ding sound when a task is completed. This may be very small, but according to my friend who used this, this is sort of a Pavlovian, 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 Pavlovian. It's also a simple, easy to use to-do list with the ability to create many lists and group them into files. It has an interface across many platforms, including the iOS App Store, the Microsoft Store, Google Play Store, and the Mac App Store, and on the internet. Every item that is logged in has a name, a due date, reminder, subtasks, file attachment, and notes. It is very detailed and efficient for organizing your to-dos. It also has a very useful tagging feature for searching up all your to-dos. Other than that, you can create collaborative task lists which you can share to many people. This could be very useful for group tasks, keep people accountable. There are also different sections in Microsoft To-Do that can help you organize things that are supposed to be completed that day or plan to be completed that day. Microsoft To-Do is completely free if you use your Microsoft personal account. And here are the cons for the Microsoft To-Do app. The first one is it could look unexciting to some. The themes for Microsoft To Do only extend to changing the color of the text shown on the page. It doesn't have a smart AI, so to speak. It does not recognize times or days when you type it into the task. And it doesn't have location-based reminders. Next, we have Habitica, which is available on the iOS App Store, the Google Play Store, and on the web page. And to quote its fandom wiki, an open-sourced habit-building program that treats your life like a role-playing game. That sounds very nerdy, I know, but it makes it more fun. I'll just say that. This is an app that I use myself through our IB, and I found it pretty useful and kind of fun. So on this application, there's a total of four different sections in the interface. There's habits, dailies, to-dos, and rewards. You can add whatever you like to these sections, even customize your own rewards that can be purchased with coins earned from doing habits, dailies, or to-dos. To speak of the pros and cons, we'll start with the pros. I feel like it's an advantage that things can be customized to your liking, like the reward system, like the habit tracking system. You can add subtasks to your larger to-dos, which is a very important part in many aspects of IB work. The full experience isn't really blocked by a paywall. The only thing that costs real life money is the obtainment of gems, which is optional to the complete experience of the program. It unlocks sort of special pets, special quests, backgrounds, and outfits, but you don't really need that for the full experience of the app. To me, it makes planning and making to-do lists a little more fun, as I said before. The collaborative spirit lies more in encouragement, where people can't work together on a project, but they're allowed to join parties, which they can encourage each other to make progress. There are also challenges made by the community, and you can make your own challenges as well. It could be anything ranging from going on a diet and sticking to that diet, or maybe even revising for two hours a day. As for the cons, you cannot create more than one to-do list, which means you cannot separate things by topic, by subject, things like that. It may be too goofy or childish for those who prefer a more serious place to put their to-do list. The focus of this app is more general, for general self-improvement, so it may not be suitable for some who are looking solely for a good and effective to-do list. The tagging and search feature is a, a little wonky, I feel. Tags must be created before they are attached to any task. And the search feature isn't smart. You have to get the exact word that you use in order to find the task that you're looking for. Another app that belongs under to-do list is Todoist. Todoist to-do list. It's available on the Microsoft Store, the iOS App Store, the Mac App Store, the Google Play Store, and as a website. It's a free to-do list app that boasts quite a comprehensive list to keep track of tasks. For the pros, it can sync across many platforms, keeping your tasks at your fingertips at all times. It has very good language recognition in that it makes it very easy to schedule tasks and set due dates. For instance, the app will understand from just typing into the task title, a certain activity is due next week Monday. There's also a section I find quite useful, that's the today, 
and the next seven day sections where you can see what tasks you need to knock out either that day or in the next seven days. As for cons, most of these are complaints on the paywall and features that are blocked because of the paywall. Tasks disappear once you've completed them in the free version. Labels also aren't available in the free version. Users aren't given reminders, whether they are timed or location-based. There are also no themes, aside from a very few limited ones. There's also no automatic calendar sync, which means you'll be stuck manually transforming information between your to-do list and your calendar. Google Keep is another app that I've categorized under to-do list. It is available on the iOS App Store, the Google Play Store, the Chrome Web Store, and as a website. It works sort of like post-it notes, where you can create to-do lists, voice notes, keep pictures, and random notes. For the pros, you can share notes and lists with others. It has a good sorting and organization system. It also allows for time reminders and location reminders. As for the cons, in my own personal experience, it is not as flexible or as customizable as I would have preferred. It can also be used to take notes, uh, as it does quite a good job at allowing users to separate and organize their notes. But do keep in mind that there are features that may be useful for taking notes that are not available in this app. All in all, I feel like this works well in a pinch where you need to write something down before you forget it or you need something to write on while you think of ideas really quickly. So that's all the to-do list that I have for you today. I'm sorry I have to break this up into more than one video. I ended up with an hour and 20 minutes of footage. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> oh boy.